Oh, 360? How are I you? love Mark. He's he so nice. I have never seen him ever I since. I have my eyes. Eight 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 eight. Eight. He is my queen. No, fish up was your, I thought, what's the name? Gringo was Oh, yeah. You're right. up your mind with me. I have a lot of queens. There's a lot of queens in my life. I had to draw that yesterday. I was drawing the hat, and then Mr. Hershey came in and took the hat off. <laughs> and I was so mad, and then, and then he put it back on, but it wasn't the same place, and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> oh. Yeehaw. Okay, we're done. Did you put my picture in? Oh. What do you guys think about this? I want to see the last one. <laughs> my pictures were so good, Edwin. I'm so mad. What? Yeah, my pictures that I had were so good. What? What are you talking about? There weren't any pictures. Of I know. I sent yeah. it to Ethan some. And I could put them on my drive. So what yeah. is this? Just how does the shot look in the artwork? Why is this yeah. computer yeah. volume on at all? I've never really been to the artwork. <clears throat> That's just right. <clears throat> oh, she blew. Can you see mine? Can you see the PowerPoint? You don't have that one. Do you have this up to the round? Yeah. I'll display it to the first one. Oh, you're good? Cool. Mark will be a model someday. Just saying. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I have one assignment due in the next seven days. I have one assignment due by noon today. <coughs> when is our reading for growth project? Next Tuesday. Oh, crap. <laughs> I should probably start. Yeah, I should probably start. I should probably finish my book. book. I should probably start my book. That's good. I'm like, 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 I'm I know that from this watching Bob Ross. We're already three minutes in. I think my clock's not. The clock's not right, it's Tony. God! <laughs> right, I'm sorry. Really two minutes I always looked. Jeez, the, Tony! I always, I always looked at yes. him for guidance, and he let me down. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Ethan, that's great. Thanks. Where is this? This is the new one. <coughs> Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Mary Miller. And I'm Gerald Straley. Today is Y Day, as in, why did I eat all that pie yesterday? A pie! Please rise for a moment of silence and the pledge to the flag. What was that? What was that? That was great. Some, so, some other time when we're on there, we should wear the exact same thing. Be like. Simpsons predicted this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would be funny to do back to back like days where you say the exact same like do the exact same thing twice yeah. in a row? And see if see people are like, did they just re-record it? Sir Shamrock is a charity event run by National Lunch Society. Over the years, Sir Shamrock has raised the money and awareness for American Cancer Society, Alzheimer's Society. Shriver Pediatric Hospital, the Humane League, and many more organizations that help support our society needs. Each Sir Shamrock candidate will try to win your support and donations for their charity. This year our candidates are Seth Bollinger, hey. Ethan Brubaker, hey. Aaron Cummings, AJ Morales, and Mark Shishkovsky. You can vote for your favorite candidate by placing your extra change or dollars in their charity jugs at lunch this week, March 12th through 16th. At the end of the competition, Sir Shamrock candidate with the most donations will win the contest. Be crowned Sir Shamrock live right here on the Effort AM and make a huge donation. Huge donation of all the money raised by all five candidates to his cheers and charity. Stay tuned this coming week for videos from each Sir Shamrock candidate. They will share with you why you should use your donations to vote for their charity. Don't forget to vote at lunch this week. Today, a representative from Shippensburg University will be here at 1.15. Any students interested in meeting with this representative, please see Mrs. Dittler in the counseling office. Attention seniors, the Effort National Bank scholarships, including the Hipschman scholarship, are now open. 
Log on to Navion Ooh. Family Connection to complete your applications. Apply today and get free money for college. Applications and all materials are due by March 31st. You've probably noticed some changes as we pack up the media center for some renovation. The time has come. All classes, study all flex, obligation time, NHS passes, etc., etc., will no longer be accepted to the library beginning March 19th. The last day to use the media center and its resources for any reason is tomorrow, March 16th. Thanks you for understanding as we prepare to create a fantastic space for you all and not the seniors. Test your luck with a new Friends of Rachel Club challenge. Two dark green shamrocks are hidden somewhere around the school. Be the lucky one to find a hidden shamrock and you'll receive a gift card either Fox Meadows Creamery or Subway. I found it! I found it! Seth, I don't think that's the same one. <laughs> oh. I found it! <laughs> Good job, Seth. Uh, yes! Lucky shamrocks are in common areas such as the halls, cafe, or media center, not in individual classrooms. Turn your lucky shamrock into Mrs. Hall in room 124 to claim your prize. Good luck, EHS. Now, over to Seth with the news. I thought that's an S. <laughs> Rachel's challenge. <clears throat> Hello, all you news people. Anyway, sorry about that. A special election in Pennsylvania's 18th congressional district has produced rather surprising results. The vote count came to 113,813, or 49.8% for Lamb, to 113,186 votes, which was 49.6% for Saccone. Whoa! That's really close. With 100% of precincts reporting, Connor Lamb, the Democratic candidate, has pulled through victorious by an astounding margin of 627 votes. Because of this, the election is still too close to call, and as a few thousand absentee ballots have yet to be counted, and they may swing the election in Saccone's favor. Although this is unlikely, it is still possible. Regardless of the outcome, the vote will most likely trigger triggered a recount as the margin is uniquely small. Beware the Ides of March. According to Thomas North's non-fiction work, The Lives of the Noble Grecians and Romans, and Shakespeare's tragedy, Julius Caesar, today marks the anniversary of Caesar's assassination, assassination in the year 44 BC. Caesar was a very influential leader in Rome, and his peers feared he was becoming too powerful and wasn't responsible or trustworthy enough to handle it. And as many as, as, many as 60 conspirators were involved, and the assassination only contributes to the reputation that the Ides of March, or the middle of the month, is an unlucky day. Now over to the main desk with lunch. Today on the lunch menu is a sloppy joe with a whole grain roll. Shrimp poppers with dip with yogurt or string cheese and a whole grain roll with margarine. Quattro cheese or buffalo chicken pizza. Grilled chicken Caesar wrap. Crispy chicken salad. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. Tossed salad. French fries. Fresh broccoli or cucumbers and dip. Chilled pears, fresh fruit or... Slushy! Good. Got to blow out some more speakers. Let's go. Sorry, camera. Camera switch. Zoom in on space. Really far. So really, really, yeah, really good. I'm shook. I'm so shook. Play some bit for a little bit and just like wiggle your eyebrows. Yeah. In spring sports resorts, tennis was postponed. Congratulations to Kyla McKim, who has been selected to play in the Lancaster Lebanon League All-Star Game. The game will be played on Tuesday, March 27th at 6 p.m. in the Hemfield High School. Congratulations to Gabby Jarola-Hill, who was named as a second-team Section 2 All-Star and also 